So hello everyone, this is Mary from this at English 3A. So for today's video, I am going to answer the two questions, which is the first one is what I learned about Bakhtin's dialogism and heteroglossia. And the second one is how I will apply this in my literary um, readings in near future. So the first question is what I learned about Bakhtin's dialogism and heteroglossia. So um According to Bakhtin's theory of dialog dialogism, an individual speech is formed in continual interaction with utterances of others through the experience of assimilating other words. So, according to Bakhtin's, dialogic or dialogism refers to the process through which meaning emerge from interaction between the author, work, and the the reader and the listener so this aspect are also influenced by circumstance in which they are found namely by social and political pressure so the term dialogism is most usually used to describe the quality of a discourse instance that expressly ad admits that it is um determined by its relationship to other instances so both past and future to which it reacts the use of discussion or shared dialogues to examine the meaning of anything is referred to as dialogic. So, um, this is in contrast of monologic, which refers to a single entity that has all the knowledge and simply distributes, um, simply distribute it to others without further study and clarification of meaning through conversation. So let's proceed to the second question which is how I will apply this in my literary readings in the future so um, it's not only improves my spoken language ability but it also improves my writing skills stimulates my intellectual um, curiosity um, improve my memory and encourages you or us in our critical thinking all of the crucial qualities for an vocation literature help us to travel back in time and learn about life on earth from those who have gone before us so um we we can have a deeper grasp of culture and appreciate them more we learn from the method history is documented documented such as manuscript and oral history so reading allows us to see the world through the eyes of others it teaches the mind to be adaptable to understand different points of view and to lay aside um, I mean, to lay aside one's particular opinion in order to perceive life through the eyes of someone or um, a different age, class, or race. Students who study literature learn to value words and their own power. Um, through the writings they study, um, they go to many reliums and periods. They are aware of their own culture as well as the culture of others. Um, they learn to empathize with the characters and feel their pleasure and sorrow. So thank you so much for listening. Again, my name is Mary Raan Apilar from Best Ed English 3A. Thank you for watching.